What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. Warframe update 18.80 now out. So let's quickly cover a couple things, get in some gameplay, talk to you about all the changes and all that jazz as usual. Still loving my Oberon. Change this colors back to my black, blue, and gold. And uh, yeah, I just it's just freaking awesome. Uh, okay, so first off, just to let you know couple new items in game here and uh, these have been given to uh, the official fan channels for review as well as media and press uh, outlets as uh, for review as well so you'll see this stuff come up on the channel but I want to let you know like always I feel like I need to be upfront and 100% honest with you guys so you understand what is going on no lies no bullshit okay so first off we got the cyber Cyber, if you will, melee weapon that just came out. Okay, uh, cold damage is the big thing. Doesn't look like there's a lot of status chance. Doesn't look like there's a lot of critical chance. Um, doesn't look overly crazy, but do keep this in mind that this frozen hammer is pretty awesome in terms of charge attacks. A charge attack will give a 50% status bonus. Okay. So that's going to be something to consider when you are building it about using and utilizing charge attacks. Just something to know about up front uh, in the in the scheme of things here. Uh, we'll definitely get in some gameplay. I, I do like that thing. That thing looks pretty freaking scary. Pretty freaking scary. But it's 165 platinum, of course, uh, if you buy it outright. Um, but again, it's cold damage, so it's elemental damage. And uh, on the the um, charge attack you will actually get an extra 50 percent uh status bonus depending upon how you build it so next up we've also got a couple of new things we got new helmet alternate helmet here for atlas the shiruko helmet uh he's got a little smiley face on his head up top there um uh, um Okay. If you say so, bro. Uh, very interesting. Reminds me of uh, a movie with the mini heads. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it does look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, keep that in mind. You see the little two black dots and the smiley face at the top there. Interesting. Uh, Wukong has a new helmet as well. That's pretty nice. I like that alternate helmet for Rukon. I'm liking the energy coloring coming off there too. Look at that shit. That is just... That's pretty cool. I definitely like that. The dashing helmet. So you can get that as well. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, Scythe Sugatra. So there's just a little Sugatra there. Uh, which you see showcased on my Broken War. Which uh, crystallized companion for the Cyber Hammer basically. Uh, so that is that. Now, before we get into all the different changes, let's quickly run over here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Equip. Let's find it. Find it. Where are you? If you could spell. Anyway. Let's take a look in here. Uh, we've got one D slot clarity, and it's a V for the, uh, stance so it's going to go with the crushing ruin in here as your stance the aerial attacks with wind control with or with crowd control combos versus the shattering storm i think i actually like shattering storm over crushing ruin if i remember correctly but uh we'll play around with it and see and otherwise you get your d slots okay this can uh ooh, you know what shattering is different never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just talking myself. But you can use the cold, the north wind, to get that increased elemental damage uh, as well to start things off with. It's a possibility. Let's see what's that. What's that do? Just so we can see it. Yep, that brings the number up pretty nicely. So uh, we've got that. Okay, let's uh, let's get in some gameplay and uh, talk about all these rest of these changes that are out now. So let's talk about some of these other changes that are going on in 1880. 
Uh, while we enjoy some gameplay here in the background. Uh, Conclave changes and fixes. Pretty interesting. Just a couple things in here. Inaros, Sandstorm lingering uh, even after death has been fixed in Conclave. Uh, a couple things to Oberon. They increase the recovery speed of targets hit by Oberon's Reckoning. Uh, they slow the casting speed of Oberon's Reckoning animation. And the lift attack of Oberon's Reckoning now occurs just after he raises his hands. Uh, also, Nyx can no longer alt fire while in absorb in Conclave, and they reduce the attack damage on Staticor's charging mechanic in Conclave. Okay, in terms of changes, this one, uh, first off, I haven't even said this, I should have told you guys a couple days ago when it came out, but Season 6 did release on the Daily Sorties in uh, PC, and it does include the Snipetron Vandal. If you don't have that, get your butts in on that sortie. And try to get the Snipetron Vandal. And the changes here, they've actually made the Snipetron Vandal blueprint now tradable. Nice. So, uh, and I haven't played that one in a while, but I do like that Snipetron Vandal. Maybe we'll have to dig that bad boy out. Uh, show you where I have it set up. Because I think I got it set up pretty well last time I checked. But uh, we'll get back to that here uh, soon. Okay, uh, players will no longer have to log in out to receive the daily tribute prompt if already logged in when the login resets. So nice, so I don't have to log in and log out just to get my daily. That will be nice tonight. Uh, improve the FX on uh, Inaris' abilities, improve some mission loading times, they tweak some sortie assassination fights so they will no longer be melee only. Uh, they tweaked uh, sleep mind control reaction animations on bosses removed a number of unnecessary zip lines in extraction rooms uh, secondary weapons that used sniper ammo will now consume pistol ammo and use pistol ammo pickups pistol ammo pickups have been adjusted for these weapons to deliver 10 ammo on pickup about freaking time they fixed that just saying. Uh, tweak the animation on the Flame Blades teleport. Uh, attack to not be ready to hit players the instant they teleport. And they tweak the Stug and uh, Simulor projectiles to properly appear stacked inside of hovering over each other. This uh, also is going to improve the projectile's landing position on objects as well, just as FYI, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then we've got a couple of fixes. Nothing too big or crazy this time around. It's just a you know it's a small update. Um, they fixed the world state menu being cut off in certain screen resolutions. Some scripting errors in the simulator. Uh, launching multiple copies of the game accidentally. Uh, flashlight effects showing random blocks of shade. Abnormally large flare effects in the void. Uh, Nizza's blazing chakram repeatedly knocking down Ambulus. Uh, cavits, not caveats, cavats, whatever the cat things, not being levitated by Vovans Bastille, uh, status effects on Saren's toxic lash, and the traumatic redirection Naromon skill not applying to finishers. Uh, and we've got a few other things going on in here. The Jin's uh, fatal attraction uh, activating on unalerted enemies. Uh, not being able to jump through a broken glass window in the Corpus ship tile set, so forth and so on. The Mutilus, Cernos, and Talons consuming the same ammo pool has been fixed. They fixed the dual Toxicist uh, getting uh, excited from elemental status effects as per uh, a forum post. Um, so that'll be interesting. And I am playing with the Mutalist Cernus. So we'll have some uh, update on that soon. Here, I've got a great setup that I'm really enjoying right now, just as FYI. Uh, a couple former into it, uh, so I think uh, we can show you what the direction of that is going to be from my end. Uh, and there are a few other things, of course, you'll be able to go over to uh, notcommunity.com slash everything warframe page, something like that. And uh, you can see all the full updates. Uh, under the blog and or you can go over to not community forms of course you can go over to the warframe forms if you want to as well uh, to check any of that stuff out if you have comments or questions at any time please do feel free to leave them below otherwise i will catch you guys in the next episode 
thanks uh, for watching. And for everybody else that uh, did enter the contest, the giveaway, I have posted that prior to posting this video. So go over there, check out, see if you are a winner. If you are a winner, make sure you do contact me, uh, unless you're PS4 North America, in which case I will be submitting your stuff over to uh, Drew and they will get that manually entered to your account but do contact me if you don't get anything back in a few days otherwise i'll catch you guys in the next episode thanks so much for uh tuning in and checking it out and we'll see you next time